Hello, doctors. Today, let's learn the five Bs to remember almost everything important about beta blockers. The first B stands for B1 receptors, one for one heart. These receptors are only present in the heart, and beta blockers acting on them are called cardioselective beta blockers. To easily identify them, remember that any beta blocker starting from A to N and ending with Olol is cardioselective. Examples include atenolol, bisoprolol, esmolol, metaprolol, and nabivolol. Moving on to the second B, which represents B2 receptors, two for two lungs. These receptors are mainly found in the lungs. Beta blockers acting on both B1 and B2 are called non-selective beta blockers. To recognize them, remember that any beta blocker starting from O to Z and ending with Olol is non-selective. Examples include propranolol, pindolol, and timolol. Now, pay attention to the beta blockers that don't end exactly as Olol. These have both alpha and beta effects. Examples include carvedilol and labetalol. Moving on to the third B, which stands for bronchoconstriction. Remember, beta blockers are contraindicated in patients with asthma and COPD due to their potential to cause bronchoconstriction. The fourth B is for bradycardia. Remember to hold beta blockers if the patient's heart rate falls below 60 beats per minute. Lastly, the fifth B stands for blood pressure. Beta blockers can decrease blood pressure, so it's crucial to regularly monitor the blood pressure of patients taking these medications. If the blood pressure drops below 90-60, consider stopping beta blocker therapy. That's it for today. Remember to save and share this informative reel. Tomorrow I'll be back with a new topic. The Old School Doc signing off.